Good afternoon. Today we're going to complete problem 1-2a in the textbooks on page 39 through 40. In this particular problem, the directions state, following are the amounts of the assets and liabilities of the New World Travel Agency on December 31, 2012, the end of the current year, and its revenue and expenses for the year. The capital of Chris Tabor, the owner, is $120,000 on January 1st, 2012, the beginning of the current year. During the year, Chris received $10,000. And then the problem lists all of the various accounts with the amounts. We are to build an empty statement, statement of owner's equity, and a balance sheet based off that information to list this charity. To create an income statement, the first thing we need to start with is a title. We list the title of the company, New World Travel Agency, the title of the statement, which is an income statement, and then we're going to list the period of which this particular statement covers, and in this case it's for the year ended December 31st, 2012. Once we get the title in place, we then start with revenues. We list the revenues, and in this case it's fees earned for $200,000. Please understand that fees earned is the revenue account for this problem. If there were any other revenue accounts, we would then proceed to list those. However, for this particular problem, there is only one revenue account. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to list the expenses. We're going to list the expenses in order of greatest to least with miscellaneous last. So we put wages expense $90,000, rent expense of $45,000, utilities expense $18,000, Supplies expense three thousand, and the miscellaneous expense of four thousand, and then we're going to total all expenses. We get total expenses one hundred and sixty thousand. We're going to list out to the right hand column. Notice that what we're doing is aligning the total revenues to the total expenses, so we then can determine the net income. And in this particular case, the net income is forty thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars in revenue minus expenses of $160,000 equals $40,000 net income. So this company seems to be doing fairly well for this particular period. The next statement that we want to create is the income, the statement of owner's equity. We start with the title of the company, name of the statement, the period of which the statement is being created for, for the year ending December 31st, 2012. The first thing we want to list is we want to list the beginning capital. And in the problem, it stated that as of January 20, I'm not 21st, January 1st, Chris Tabor started off with $120,000 in capital. If we had any additional investments, we would then list those. However, if there's no additional investments, we will then list the net income for the year. And we determined the net income is $40,000 on the income statement. So we're going to bring that in and list it here. We're then going to list the withdrawals of $10,000, and we're going to deduct this amount. Notice that it says less withdrawals, $10,000. We then will determine what the increase or decrease in owner's equity is. And in this case, we had a $40,000 income, and the $10,000 draw gives us an increase in owner's equity of $30,000. We then will add the beginning capital to the increase to determine the ending capital. So Chris Tabor Capital, December 31st, 2012, equal to $150,000. The next statement that we're going to create is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is just like the accounting statement. We list the name of the company, the name of the statement, and then the balance sheet is for December 31st, 2012 only. We list assets, liabilities, owner's equity. We will list all of the assets. Cash, $110,000. Accounts receivable, $60,000. Supplies, $5,000. For total assets of $175,000. For liabilities, we had $25,000 in accounts payable. For Chris Tabor Capital of $150,000 came from the statement of owner's equity. And we add these two totals together to determine total liabilities and owner's equity of $175,000. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. $175,000, $175,000. Our balance sheet is in balance. Now question number four wants to know what item appears on both the statement of owner's equity and the balance sheet. And that's 
people of Gotham are pricked with labor capital of $150,000. Lending capital is here again to stay even. The equity in seed brings you the balance sheet. A couple things I want you to remember when building financial statements. It's important to remember the flow of information when statement to the net. The net income flows from the income statement to the statement of earnings equity, and the ending capital flows from the statement of earnings equity to the balance sheet. This concludes problem one, back to you guys.